I'm back out to attempt another three-day backpacking trip in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I tried about a week ago to go out for three days, but a bear kept coming to our campsite. Although he never like tried to be aggressive toward us or anything like that, it just became such a problem that we just didn't feel comfortable spending the night. I'll come back out. I'm going to attempt to do this again. I am actually in a completely different area of the park. This time I'm on the east side of the Smokies and I am in the Big Creek area. I'm right now at Big Creek Campground and the nice thing about this campground, there's restrooms with flushable toilets. There's a, gar a bear proof garbage canisters. I'm going to start today on Baxter Creek Trail, hike up to campsite 38, spend the night there, and I will hike down Swallow Fork, and then I'm going to head onto Big Creek Trail and camp at campsite 37. So I am by myself this time, completely by myself, and I'll be doing this hike solo. Hopefully the weather will be okay. There is chances of rain, but I'm hoping it works out. But anyway, okay, get ready to start my hike. Looks like part of an old chimney, maybe. It's a basin pan. I'm not exactly sure what that piece is there. seeing a lot of these I think those are chestnuts I'm not 100 percent sure but there's plenty of them so the bears shouldn't need to be getting out of the food <laughs> also plenty of berries at least in this area where it opens up and you see the blue skies and the white clouds it's just nice um, it was really cloudy this morning but it's looking really pretty right now i'm about halfway done with the trail today i had a trail runner pass me so hopefully he'll clear the cobwebs and chase the bears away. I made these energy bites. They're, um, they have oatmeal, peanut butter, chocolate chips, uh, like chia seeds, flax seeds, has pumpkin. <laughs> Got a few blowdowns. One 
thing I didn't mention earlier about Baxter Creek Trail is it is a 5k trail so you climb 4,114 feet over the six miles. It's like Chigger City through here. Can you hear the rain? It's like pouring rain. I thought it was a waterfall. The nice thing is it's not hitting me because I guess the tree coverage. I was kind of hoping I was going to get lucky. And it wasn't going to rain until like I was in my tent. <laughs> it was late. Oh well. The water source for the campsite is like four tenths of a mile from the campsite and a 700 feet off the trail. But at least it's a pipe spring. I got my water. My pack's a lot heavier right now. Um, it is lopsided. I have everything on one side, but anyway, I've got my water, so I'm good. All right, I think I have like four tenths of a mile left. It's still raining. It's been raining pretty much since it started raining. Well, I knew it was supposed to rain. I should have just waited for another weekend. But this is like the second time I've tried to, you know, do this whole thing. So I just kind of wanted to do it. I wanted to get out here. But the only bad part is it's one thing when you're through hiking and it's raining. You know, you kind of have to deal with it and suck it up. And you have to deal with it when you're backpacking too. But it's like when you only have a couple days you're going to do it. You want to have optimal weather so you can... I brought my hammock, which is, uh, it kind of looks like I may not even get to use it. Um, I don't know about tomorrow. But when I remember looking, it looked like it was supposed to rain more tomorrow than today. So. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just sitting here in my tent. <laughs> so dirty. <laughs> Clouds have parted a little bit. Even though it looked like the rain had passed, I checked the radar and saw more storms coming over the next few days. So I decided to pack up my gear and head back down to my car and save this backpacking trip for better weather. This was going to be my camp area. Oh, there was a black bear down there. But he did take off, or she took off. So I guess that's a good thing. Hey bear! I'm coming through! Well, I made it to my car before it got dark. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it's like 6.6 .6 miles and I get it like two and a half hours. So that's pretty good for me. I didn't leave because I can't deal with the rain or whatever. I mean, I did that a lot on the AT. But at this point, if I'm gonna do a backpacking trip, like a short one, then I wanna enjoy it. You know, I wanna be able to enjoy the trails. I wouldn't be able to enjoy the campsite and I just wouldn't have been able to do that. I, I mean, I wasn't able to do it at that campsite and it looks like there's some pretty nasty weather coming through, maybe from a hurricane. And I didn't want to have to hike in that. I wouldn't be able to film really anything anyway. So I just thought, you know, I'll go ahead and cut it down, cut it short and make it a day hike. I'm getting into the habit of 
carrying my full pack on a day hike. But I did 13 and a half miles today, so my whole route would have been like 16 miles. So I only lost like two and a half miles. Ready to go home.